we take the pleasure of inviting our chief guest, the Honorable Minister of Forest and Environment Manipur, to grace the dais. Sir, please grace the dais. We also invite the President and Guest of Honor of today's occasion, Shri Shambhu Singh, Additional Chief Secretary, Forest and Environment, Government of Manipur, Shri P. N. Prasad, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest, Government of Manipur, and uh, Shri K. Angami, the Chief Wildlife Warden, Government of Manipur. We shall now felicitate the Chief Guest, President, and Guest of Honor of today's closing ceremony. Presentation of bouquets to the distinguished dignitaries gracing the dais. As the Chief Wildlife Warden, Government of Manipur. The Chief Guest being presented. The President of today's function, the additional Chief Secretary, Forest and Environment, Manipur. The Guest of Honor, Shri P. N. Prasad, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest, Manipur. And uh, Shri K. Angami, the Chief Wildlife Warden, Government of Manipur. And now presentation of traditional Lengyan to the distinguished guest, the chief guest to be presented with a traditional Lengyan, the president of the occasion, guest of honor, uh, the principal chief conservator of forest, and the host, Shri K. Angami, Chief Wildlife Warden. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Laklo Ekoi Itin Inausa, Umangi Punsi Kalhausi. The song will be presented by the artists of the Song and Drama Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Imphal Center, Government of India.
was a beautiful and stirring clarion call to save to save wildlife thank you so much artists of the song and drama division to present the welcome address may we now request shri k angami chief wildlife warden government of manipur ladies and gentlemen shri k angami respected principal chief conservator of forests and head of forest force government of manipur shri p n prasad my colleagues from the forest department our valued guests prize winners and students from various schools representatives of song and drama division imphal ministry of information and broadcasting government of india representatives of the print and electronic media ladies and gentlemen a very good morning to all of you it is my pleasure and honor to welcome all of you to the valedictory function of the 61st wildlife week celebration organized by the wildlife wing forest department government of manipur we are fortunate and honored this morning by the presence of the honorable minister forest and environment manipur as the chief guest of this function sir your kind presence in our midst is a true reflection of your dynamic leadership to lead from the front i extend a heartfelt welcome to the chief guest of today's function i am specially pleased to welcome the additional chief secretary for rest and environment who is presiding over today's function so your presence is an extension of your support and guidance for the betterment of the forest department i would also like to extend a warm welcome to the pccf and head of forest force the guests of honor for today's function the pccf and head of forest force have been actively associated with the observation of wildlife week 2016 and without his cooperation organizing the valedictory function would not have been easy to all the prize winners in the different categories of the competition i extend a very special welcome for they being the real heroes of today's function L last but not the least I also extend a warm welcome to my colleagues our valued guests and representatives of the print and electronic media sir taking advantage of today's function i would like to dwell upon certain aspect of the wildlife week 2016 the wildlife week was conceptualized in 1952 with the overall goal of raising awareness to serve the long term goal of safeguarding the lives of wildlife through critical action wildlife week is celebrated throughout the country during the first week of october every year with the overall objective of sensitizing the general public on the importance of nature and wildlife and the need for their conservation by organizing some special activities connected with the wildlife conservation a week long celebration becomes more significant as it coincides with the birthday of mahatma gandhi the icon of non violence to all form of lives it is also a clarion call to the general public that it is our duty to love conserve and protect nature and wildlife it is also to remind ourselves that wildlife has a, has every right to survive and enjoy the life that the objective of sensitizing the general public on the importance of nature and wildlife has taken up certain activities starting from the last week of september to first week of october 2016 we conducted the on spot painting 
for students of Class 5 District Wildlife Wardens. On 1st October 2016, we had a cycle rally from Kordak around Kabul Lamjau National Park. Students, youths, adults, Sangai Protection Forum members, numbering about 100, participated in the rally. On 2nd October, we had the observation of Manipur Zoological Garden, which, that is the Foundation Day. And on that day, we released a brochure of the zoo. On 3rd October, state level wildlife photography competition and exhibition was held at the Nupilal Memorial Auditorium in Fal. The theme being on wildlife and its habitats in Manipur. In continuation of the program, we had from 1st to 7th October sensitizing, creating awareness to the general public through DDK. AIR and local newspapers. Seven to eight, seven to one, first to seven October, we also conducted awareness campaigns in school by the concerned the Air Force, ACF, ROs, through talks and presentations. On 6th October, we had the relocation program, that is release of rescued animals, 11, 11 numbers, with the people of Animals Manipur. Today being the validatory function, we are having it here. In appreciation and recognition of the utmost, utmost dedication put in by the Wildlife Wing staff in the conservation and protection of wildlife, the Friends of Wildlife Award is constituted for the staff this year, and this is this will be the first time that staffs of the wildlife will be given this award. In addition to the special activities mentioned above, to make people more aware and draw people's attention towards the importance of wildlife and its conservation, the following activities will continue after the Wildlife Week 2016. One is awareness campaigns for protection and conservation of migratory birds in the state. This will continue. Presentation of wildlife theme program by the Song and Drama Divisions, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting in the various districts, divisions of the state. Once again, on behalf of the Wildlife Wing Forest Department, I extend a warm welcome to the Chief Guest President, guests of honor, and to all our distinguished guests. Thank you. Please kindly read after me. Convinced of fundamental importance of conserving the natural environment, upon which rests the foundation of human civilization, I solemnly pledge that I will spare no efforts to preserve our vanishing wildlife and our dwindling forest areas which our generation holds in trust for posterity. Thank you. Please sit down. We now request the guest of honor, Shri P. N. Prasad, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest and Head of Forest Force, Government of Manipur, to present a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, Shri P. N. Prasad. Good morning. Today, Chief Guest of the Function, respected Sri I. Hemuchandra Singh, Honorable Minister, Forest and Environment, Revenue and Law. Additional Chief Secretary, Sri Sambhu Singh. Chief Wildlife Warden, K. Angami. All officers present here and all students and a staff and media present here.
Today we are assembled here to, on the occasion of the valedictory function of the 61st Wildlife Week celebration. Details of this uh, celebration has, has just now been given by the Chief Wildlife Warden. I will not go in detail. But why we should preserve wildlife? What is its importance? I like to highlight few points on that. Generally, it is feeling that by killing a tiger, by hunting deers, by shooting birds, what harm we are going to have. But it, <clears throat> that the feeling is not correct. The nature has built up all the wildlife, the flora and fauna, in such a way that it, each one has very intricate relation among themselves. And our survival depends on all of this. If a balance of the nature gets disturbed, then its impacts come on our survival itself. All you, <clears throat> you are aware that Manipur lies between the junction of the two hot spots, and there are many indigenous species of plant and wildlife are available in this part of the country. For our survival, we need to have food. We need to produce grains. We need to produce fruits. We need to produce various items for our clothings and how, uh, construction of the houses and other uh, other uh, <coughs> our requirement. And this all comes from nature. Nature produces it and it, either we cultivate or uh, uh, get from the natural resources. Uh, and all this production get affected if there is imbalance in the nature. Now, when we raise nursery, we collect seed and we just do not plant the seed in the poly bag or in the field. We, before planting seed, before sowing the seed, we treat the seed by sometimes keeping the seed in uh, uh, for 24 hours in water or keeping it in a boil, uh, boil, boiled wa uh, hot water. Sometimes we treat it by acid. Sometimes uh, it has to be burnt before sowing. But nature has built up its own process of processing these seeds. Now, now we are hearing that uh, the fruits production in Tamilong, Ukrul, Senapati, and other hill area is getting affected. The orange production, apple production, and other fruit production is getting affected, and production is going down because there are a lot of insects attacking this uh, fruit, uh, fruit production. The crop which is going, being grown in the agriculture are also getting affected by the insects. And we need to provide pesticides, fungicides to protect these fruits which affects our uh, uh, which affects us and then uh, it uh, uh, have adverse impact on our health. Each uh, animal, birds, or plants are one way or other if it is not in the uh, more of the size, they uh, help us in protecting the providing us uh, food and other things. <coughs> As I was telling that uh, this uh, 
food production uh, fruit uh, food production is affected by the animals the all that birds when and they are there they eat all insects coming in the agriculture field and thus they product uh, protect the uh, agriculture pro crop from getting damaged by the uh, insects if uh, and when we kill all the birds the insects get uh, population gets increase and we uh, crops are damaged and we do not get uh, our food uh, food crop gets damaged similarly in the uh, lake there are lake also generates many in unwanted insects and when birds comes they eat all the insects and the fish production is uh, be, uh, remains it is not that by killing a tiger or by killing a deer or killing a bird we are not harming ourselves it is just you see that but on the long run or overall you see all the animals help us in our survival so for our survival we need to protect the animal birds and other uh, flora and fauna till this popular their population does not be become beyond a certain limit if population becomes beyond a certain limit then uh, ladies and gentlemen shri shambhu singh honorable minister sri i am ochandra singh ji two of my colleagues and very good friends shri prasad and shri hangami are all other officers and young friends and ladies and gentlemen the pccf has spoken at great length about the importance of wildlife in sustaining humanity at large see a few months ago we had gathered in another hall observing the international biodiversity day and there also we had understood and appreciated the importance of biodiversity in nature and by consequence for the human life i will not be taking much of your time the only point i would like to emphasize is that nature loves balance and if there are various life forms on this earth human beings are there there are microorganisms there are animals there are birds so definitely there must have been a reason as to why so many species are there on the earth now imagine a scenario where we go and hunt all the deer in the forest what will happen can anybody tell us what will happen then the bigger cats the predators who survive on those deer they will enter our villages kill our animals and why not kill the human beings also and imagine the opposite scenario we kill all the predators we kill the tigers we kill the leopards and whatever other kind of cats are there what will happen then then the number of deer will be so much that they would have finished eating grass in the jungles and they'll be coming into your fields 
you will not be getting your rice you will not be getting your hawai and that's why we are reminding ourselves on this day on this valedictory day of the importance of wildlife conservation we have to allow the nature to remain in balance if we try to fiddle with it which we have done our own life is not safe it is endangered the humanity is in endangered and maybe there will be a time if we continue like this our next generation will not know what a deer is or was once upon a time they won't understand the you mentioned the word tiger you mentioned the word leopard the, the next generation kids won't know what it it is what it was the forest department wildlife division has worked very hard see the importance of migratory birds was presented to you by the pccf amur falcons come they come in huge numbers they finish the insects now bhalok village in tamanglong district has taken a responsibility upon itself that it will not allow any amur falcon or any migratory bird to be hurt by anybody and avi congratulations with your efforts bhalok is going to be declared the amur falcon village in india this is the kind of effort we need to sustain we need to continue with like we are dying for sangai preservation conservation of sangai similarly we have to do everything in our capacity to ensure that other forms of wildlife are also similarly preserved my young friends i don't know whether you are aware how many kind of how many species of fish we have lost what used to be available in local rivers and loktak lake is no longer there the tastiest of the fish have vanished because we did not take care we did not care for the wildlife we did not care for the birds and we did not care for the environment if we are lucky they may get reintroduced some hour the other but if we are not then none of you is going to taste those lovely tasting fish which when i came to manipur 30 years ago used to be available in plenty in vishnupur bazar ningtokong bazar everywhere now there are team prajesh kumar of saibam lekai imphal a cash prize of rupees 8000 and a certificate will be presented to Brajesh Kumar Koyum Them Lengshin Biraksi first prize winner Koyum Them Brajesh Kumar May we request the chief guest the honorable minister to present the prize Lengshin Biraksi second prize winner state level wildlife photography contest third prize Elambo Buddha Chandra Singh of Sekmaji Thoma ब्रजेश कुमार ऑफ सोबर निकाय इंफॉल सेकेंड प्राइज 
Batang Seram Chiranjit Mete, IRB Commando Thobal, Lenzin Biraksi. Until Commando Vishnupur, I will come to our post. Principal Chief Conservator of Forests, Shri P. N. Prasad, Shri K. Angami, Chief Wildlife Warden, Senior Officers of the Forest Department, Distinguished Invitees, my young friends from the various schools of Manipur, friends from the media, both print and electronic, who is covering this function, ladies and gentlemen. I am sure I am the last speaker. After this, it will be the formal vote of thanks. And I think most of the points which needed to be covered on the occasion of the 61st edition of our Wildlife Week for this calendar year has already been covered. My PCCF has spoken very extensively and has covered very very important points and what was very nice by the song and drama division now we receive
Thawai ni nadrabasu. Lapok ni nadrabasu. Nang su Thawai ban bani do. Ay ko su Thawai ban bani de. Thawai Pan, 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 Thawai
만 마른다 먹으면 시집이 나오게 되리니까 그래 고인들 우리가 시인의 참비가 시내기 많이 드시다 아까의 목숨 시바 털고야 이거 이거 뭐 까지 눈을 보라 마디 아이쿠이다 이사 스파크를 먹지 여러분이 내고 거의 보라 하도 그리 전매 이사 스파크를 놀라 그리 하도 뭐 우리 아이고의 열마음 시비리 배신아 아이 마디 분시가 부디는 티비나에 우리를 보여야 할 테니까 하도는 마시 마빵맥다 하도 이게 뭐야 하도 다시 하이 이사 스파크를 먹고